Hi, today I'm going to show you how to use Zena 2544, which is a free app that comes with our Zena Manager software. Zena 2544 is installed automatically as part of the normal Zena software installation, and after installation you will find it either as a shortcut on your desktop or in the Zena folder under the Start menu. Now when you start the app you'll find yourself on the main tab, which is the first of eight tabs. This is where you set the topology and direction properties which control how traffic flows between the test ports. If you choose the pairs option, it means that all included ports are paired two and two, and the traffic only flows between the paired ports. Choosing the blocks option means that all ports are placed in one of two groups, east or west. This means any port in a group will communicate with all ports in the other group, but it will not communicate with any of the other ports in its own group. Choosing the mesh option, means that every port will communicate with all other ports. So here the group concept doesn't really apply. Now the direction property lets you choose whether traffic is unidirectional or bidirectional. This means you can choose whether traffic flows from east to the west group or from the west to the east group, or if it flows both ways, i.e. if it is bidirectional. And if you're smart, you'll have quickly worked out that the mesh configuration is always bidirectional which explains why the other direction options are greyed out when it is selected. OK, now let's do a very simple configuration where we get two ports on a Zena Bay chassis to talk to each other through a device under test. So we set the topology to pairs and the direction is set to east to west. This means that now traffic will only flow between the paired ports and the traffic flow will be unidirectional. Now let's switch to the traffic tab. Here you'll find several options for defining a traffic header, but let's keep it simple and just add a single customer VLAN tag by clicking in the checkbox. Now we can see that the packet editor at the bottom has given us some settings for the customer VLAN tag, so let's set the tag value to 10. And just to the left, we can also see that the tool has automatically set the ether type in the basic ethernet header to 8100, which is the standard way of indicating that the frame contains a VLAN tag. You can, of course, change that if necessary, but for now, let's just use the default values. The Packets Options panel up above has four tabs that let us control various parameters, including packet sizes, address settings, port speed, and payload. But to keep this demonstration simple, let's only change the frame sizes. So we select the Custom Sizes option and choose, for instance, 64 and 512, 512. Okay. Now the traffic setup is finished and it's time to add some ports. Now the first thing we need to do is to add a Zena test chassis to the configuration. So we click on the Add Chassis button and here you simply enter the IP address of the Zena test chassis, the password, and then click OK. Zena 2544 connects to the chassis and reads all the module and port information from it. Now this can take a few seconds. Once the In Progress dialog is closed, we can go to the Ports tab and see all the modules and ports that are available to us. And we can expand and collapse the port tree to locate exactly the ports we want to use. So let's take Module 10 and Ports 2 and 3 and add them to the test configuration by clicking the checkboxes next to the port name. Now see how the port name font changes to bold. This indicates that the ports are now reserved by us. We also need to indicate which group each port belongs to, east or west, and also which port number it is paired with. Zena 2544 supports all four test types defined in the RFC standard, namely the throughput test, the loss test, the latency jitter test, and the burst or back-to-back -back test. Each test type is configured and monitored in a separate tab panel, which lets you control parameters for each test. And you can, for instance, change the duration of each subtest. The default value is only one second, but for most tests, you will probably want to use a higher value. You can also use Zena 2544 to repeat a test a number of times by increasing the iterations value. The final result will then be reported as an average of the individual results. Each test type features a number of specific options, and if you hover your mouse over the small information icons, a tooltip will explain what the option is supposed to do. And if you don't want to run any of those test types, you can simply disable them with a single click here at the top. 
Now the last tab is called Reporting. And here you can add information about the test in the fields provided and define other aspects of how the report should be generated. Finally, note that there are two options for the report. You can make it as a PDF, which is great for viewing on a PC, and or the XML format if you want to import the results into another application or database system. We are now almost ready to start the test, but first let's save our configuration. So simply press the Save icon in the toolbar and enter a suitable name and press OK. Now you can see that the tool title bar now displays the name we just assigned. And to begin the test, we simply press the Start button in the toolbar. Now the initial setup and configuration phase can take a few seconds depending on the type of configuration. But once the test starts, you'll soon see the progress counters are activated, uh, plus you'll be able to see the status and progress feedback in the status line at the bottom. Once the test completes, the default setting is that all the results are written to a PDF, which is saved onto your PC. You can, of course, change the defaults either by choosing Other Options on the Reports tab or by using the main Options drop-down menu. OK, that's it. Thank you for watching. Hi, welcome back. In this segment, I'll show you how to configure Zena 2544 to use IP traffic and how to set the IP addresses for your test ports. So let's start by opening Zena 2544 from the desktop. I've already shown you how to add a VLAN segment to the packet header by selecting the Customer Tag option. We could also add a Service Tag to the header by clicking the Service Tag option. Or we could add an MPLS header. But in this test I'm going to focus on IP traffic, which obviously involves Layer 3. So Zena 2544 supports both IP version 4 and version 6, and for this demonstration we'll just use the default value, which is version 4. Now we already have a chassis connected from last time, but now let's use another module and some other ports. So we'll choose module 11 and ports 0 and 3. And let's just use this filter so we only see the selected ports. Enabling the IP header means that we now have to provide an IP address for each port. And if you look at the IP address column in the port tab, you'll see some red text reminding you to enter the info needed. So we click on the red text and we can now enter a valid IP address. And on port 0, I will use the address 10.0.0.2 for this demonstration. But of course, you will need to use an address that is appropriate for your network. And on port 3, I will use the address 20.0.0.2. And you may also need to assign a gateway for each port. And this can be entered in the gateway column in the same way. Now I will assign gateway addresses that are suitable for my network. And again, you will have to enter values suitable for your network. So let's save the new configuration, and then we can start the test running and see what happens. And here's the report. First, it lists the details of the test, who it is for, and any other notations you entered, plus how long it took, etc. And then it gives you all the results. So that's it for now. You can easily try this for yourself. All you have to do is register to use the live demo system on our website and then download the software. And if you have any questions, check out our website or email our support team. Thanks for watching.